Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here with the return of Vinyl Collection, a little series where I take a look at the really vast collection of classical guitar vinyl that there is here at Gallery of Guitar. Over the years, I have built up quite a collection of really very rare recordings for classical guitar on vinyl and some very, very important recordings that help um, just basically trace the history of our instrument and some of its great players and performers and composers and real landmark recordings. So in the description to this video will be a link to the playlist where you can check out previous episodes where we feature Segovia, Julian Green, John Williams and many, many, many more players. And some of the really important recordings of which I have first editions and first pressings of. Um, today, we're focusing on one of my all-time guitar heroes and a real favourite recording, Goran Solskjaer, the great Swedish guitarist, and his recording of the music of Johann Sebastian Bach and Fernando Sor. We'll just take a little listen here. Beautiful fugue, G minor fugue by Bach, originally for violin, and here, you hear the depth of that guitar and the resonance. This is Goran playing his 11 string guitar uh, made by George Bolin. It's a really beautiful guitar, extending the range of our normal six string guitar to 11 strings. It's here in what is normally referred to as a Renaissance tuning and adds so many possibilities of depth of sound, extra bass, filling out harmony, really being really creative with some of the realizations of the chords, allowing the music to have this hugely expressive harmonic form and sound. Um, when you hear this 11 string guitar, the thickness and the resonance immediately hit you. The guitar sounds massive, you know, so it's got a range, not obviously as big as the concert keyboard, but a much larger range than its normal six strings provide. And of course, Solskjaer, as always, is full of direction, intrigue, articulation. There's just so many great ideas going on in his playing. Um, so he's beginning this record with Bach and with this fugue. He moves on to the Prelude Fugue in Allegro by Bach. And then on the other side, it's a real departure. It's the Spanish composer Fernando Sor. Um, his uh, Morceau de Consort, I think his Opus 54, which is really quite a large major work by Sor, written when he was in Paris, and it has that hugely romantic style to it, just distracted by how incredible Goran's playing is. This was recorded in 1979, and one of his earlier recordings for Deutsche Grammophon where he's starting to, I'll just lay down that marker as such an incredible musician and interpreter and Deutsche Grammophon considered one of the, the greatest record labels for classical music and we had in Goran and do have in Goran this incredible discography that he built up with this record label um, of really incredible recordings for guitar on 11 string and on 6 string guitar a real diversity of musical approaches as well he was well known for Renaissance interpretations, Dowland, um, Bach, the Beatles, Bach and the Beatles together on the one record, just celebrating so much diversity and variety on his recordings. So a really interesting musician, always playing with so much feeling and sincerity and exploring these tonal and harmonic ideas with reimagining this old music. It's just such beautiful playing. and really inspiring and ambitious playing as well. Playing an 11 string guitar, most people find six strings hard enough. Imagine trying an 11 string guitar. This is into the prelude from the prelude fugue and allegro now. You can hear that resonance. Absolutely gorgeous playing. Beautiful stuff. Now, it's not all 11 string, this album. When he moves to the Saw, he's playing a Ramirez guitar, actually, and um, playing a six string Ramirez, and then I think moves over to a six string Bolin guitar as well. Um, and he gets, a, obviously, a different timbre out of that, a more traditional um, classical guitar sound, you might argue. Um, 
when we flip over to the second side for the SOAR. You'll find this on digital streaming platforms, I'm sure, to be able to have a listen to him playing the Bach and playing the SOAR. Just an incredible recording and, and a real way of changing the thinking, I think, around these performances of Bach's work on guitar. The richness of the bass, the addition of extra notes harmonically to thicken the texture and give more direction at times. It's just really exquisite playing. And just one of the most important protagonists that we have, not just as a guitar player, but as a musician. So I encourage you, go online, have a little listen to some of Goran's wonderful interpretations and fantastic albums. I'll be back soon with another episode of Vinyl Collection. I've just taken a peek today at some of the ones that we haven't quite celebrated yet, and there's some real crackers in there, so we'll be having a few more episodes in the coming months. If you haven't already checked out the series, look for the link in the description to the playlist and have a listen to some of the other episodes where we delve into some great recordings from the past. And please subscribe to the Gallery of Guitar, like the videos and add your support and your voice in the comments. If you've heard the recording before, if you have the recording, I want to hear your thoughts. If you've got any recordings that I haven't yet maybe featured or maybe you'd like to talk about, put it in the comments and we'll We'll chat through it all and we'll discuss. So thanks again for watching another episode of Vinyl Collection here at Gallery of Guitar and I'll see you for the next one very soon. Bye for now.